can't get on the floor for a rhomboid stretch, try this stretch instead. A great stretch for the back is a rhomboid stretch, but a lot of times people have a hard time getting into the best position for a rhomboid stretch, which is sometimes lying down and getting like a rotation into that rhomboid stretch. Or a lot of times you'll see this, what we call long sitting, and you kind of punch out and curl in. You might've seen me do this before for that rhomboid stretch. But a lot of times getting your legs out this long either requires you to get on the floor and someone can't get up off of the floor, or it's a lot of tension on your your hips when you're in this long sitting position. So a great way to modify the rhomboid stretch is just do it in sitting. So you can sit down in a chair, you can sit down um, in the, on a couch or on the edge of your bed. It's not gonna be quite as much of a stretch, but it's a great modification. So it's really the same movement, but you're just doing it in a seated position. So I'm clasping my hands, I'm putting them out in front of me. I'm gonna punch forward, tuck in my chin and kind of uh, curl my back backwards, almost like I'm making a turtle shell. So I'm just gonna punch forward, tuck in, and really just kind of curl my whole back that way. And I'm getting a nice stretch in the rhomboid muscles there. So if you don't feel like you can get your legs all the way out in front of you, because a lot of times if you have some hip pain, that's hard to do, or if you can't do the ones where you're lying down on the floor because it's hard to get down on the floor and get back up, this is a great modification. You're still gonna feel a great stretch. So there you have it. That was a modified rhomboid stretch. If you'd like to help support my channel, click on the link up there and don't forget to subscribe. Where Miss Callie? Yep, down there. And remember, be safe, have fun, and I hope you feel better soon.